What is going on everyone, it's here again, take for you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 playing some Kill Confirmed, it's time on the map raid using the MSMC submachine gun with that graffiti camouflage, and uh, this is from uh, the Double XP weekend, this past Double XP weekend, I'm playing with a full party of subscribers, and we absolutely decimate the other team, I absolutely just spank them, embarrass the hell out of them, and right here is actually my only death of the game. Uh, but it's just embarrassing how fast we get to 100 tags in this gameplay, and you have the minimal amount of tags the other team actually gets on us, it's... It's honestly disheartening at how you know bad this other team was. But I want to make this video talking a little bit about the MSMC submachine gun, which is uh, this kind of builds off a Dear Nero question I did for this past week's Dear Nero. And basically the genesis of the question was, hey Nero, they nerfed the MSMC, it kicks too much now, it was the only gun I'm good with, I can't use any other gun, what do I do, please help, help, help. And, uh, I, and the, throughout the, the episode of Dear Nero, I basically said to him, I'm like, listen, you don't use only one gun. You don't use only one weapon tier, in fact. You use multiple things. If, you can only, if you're only good with one kind of gun, you're not good as a player. You're just good with that one kind of gun. You're not a good player. And uh, I think that kind of really hit home with him. Hopefully uh, he learned a little bit from that and realized that the MSMC is not the end-all be-all of guns. While the gun itself is generally considered to be one of the best guns in the game, and still is, uh, I think people take it a little bit too much to heart when they hear, Oh, this gun got nerfed, therefore it sucks. The MSMC or the PW, neither one's bad ever since they got that nerf. Neither one is bad. They are both, in fact, actually still very good. You'll be seeing throughout the parts of this gameplay, uh, mainly a lot towards the beginning, a little bit here towards the middle, uh, different kinds of MSMC gameplay and using it in different situations. And does this look like a nerfed gun to you? Like, this gun itself, like, you'll be seeing some, uh, some pretty good clips, like, right here. Does this look like a nerfed submachine gun? I took the... That wasn't even... That wasn't difficult at all. And this is, you know, this past Double XP weekend, so you know it's part of the... Uh, ever since it got patched. And I think I get a triple spray right here. And there's three. Does that look like a nerfed SMG to you? There's nothing wrong with the MSMC. They say they nerfed it, but they really didn't. And what really considers um, what people believe to be like an overpowered gun? Like, what is like the criteria? What are the credentials for an overpowered gun? Well, you have to meet the requirements to become an overpowered gun. And for me, the overpowered guns in Call of Duty, any game really, if you just check people's combat records and whatever the most used gun is by most people, that's typically that's typically your best bet to be the overpowered gun. If you were to check COD Elite during Modern Warfare 3, just about everybody's top weapon was either the ACR or the uh, the MP7, because both those guns were really good in Modern Warfare 3, man. And lo and behold, those were the overpowered guns. You look back to uh, Black Ops 1, just about everybody's combat record, the top guns are the FAMAS or the AK-74U. That's just how it was. Those were the overpowered guns. That was the guns everybody used. You know, uh, COD 4, the M16, the MP5. Actually, COD 4 is somewhat balanced. The AK-47 might be in there as well. Uh, you look here in Black Ops 2, just about everyone. Of course, there's exceptions. Of course, there's, there's people um, that, you know, you know, real casual players, and they just kind of like, don't use the best guns. They just use what guns they like for lack of a better phrase, like you'll find people like the you know, have a really random top gun. Like for me, my top gun's a QBB LSW. But for the most part, you're gonna find people whose top weapon is the PW or the MSMC. Those are like the two top guns. That or a sniper rifle. You run to a lot of snipers in this game. We really, really do. And we have a we actually got a couple gameplays of us just spanking some teams of snipers. But uh, I want to make this video. I don't think the MSMC is quite as nerfed as people are making it out to be. I think the MSMC is just fine. If anything, it kicks a little more. And that's no big deal. The kick on the MSMC in Black Ops 2 is nothing compared to any gun's kick in World of War. You know, it, the recoil has diminished so much, and I think people are, are honestly just getting spoiled by the fact that guns don't kick a lot anymore. And any time a gun does kick, even slightly, they're like, oh my god, this gun's unusable, how do I use this thing? <laughs> you know, like um, the PM9, the Mod for 3, that gun kicked a lot. That, it compared to other guns in Mod for 3. But compared to older Call of Duties, that gun doesn't kick at all. That gun's like a laser. You know, just just some thoughts, just some opinions. Just a quick video, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please don't leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.